Now, actually, what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be working on another mini game for the carnival. Uh, let's see if we can sleep through this. There we go. So, what we're going to be doing is a new mini game. We have finished this one up here. Uh, let's go over here and look at it. I put all the water in the sides here and I filled it in with the stone brick so it does take them off to the center, like so. So they come up here, so we can do not do anything down there. So they come up and walk over here. I just like to reset that center. So we got all the sides in, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, so what we're going to be working on is, and I have actually one, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Um, let's look here. It is pretty tall, so we're going to need a good size area for it. Let's turn the music down just a little bit here. There we go. Um, right here should be good. Didn't have that big of a footprint, but it is pretty tall. And I'm going to need some area to work with for the right stone underneath. So what we gotta do here is go up 30 blocks. How many is that? One, two, three, one, two, six, seven, eight. Ah, okay, so this is 15. So we have to go up 30. Um, I am counting, so. If I'm not saying anything there, I apologize. Ah, okay. And this is the top of the area. You can kind of get an idea what this is going to be here. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, and we need to dig this area out here. Okay, that's good. Um, we actually need to go two more down. Perfect. Oh. I forgot we actually need sticky piston, but we only have normal pistons. Uh, so we're going to run up there up to the base and get some. But it's only going to take a second. Oh, oh. While they go up here, we can probably see some things that have been changed a little bit. Um, that's still the same. Except for for some reason the cat the pig was no longer in the cage there. Some block knocked out one of the blocks and the pig got out. Uh, up here we have uh, this is where I was doing cocoa beans. So normal stuff you guys see. I moved the trees over here. Uh, so not so much in the area. I had a job from one of these server. Um, we got some turtle crafts over here for 64 of every color. So that's why I have so many cactuses there. Um, so up here we need to see if we have some fun blocks up here. Where can I put the blocks on? I don't know, I don't think we have any. have no slime balls. Hmm. I have to get on what we were doing. Um hmm. trying to think of what we can do now. Um we definitely have time to find some slime blocks. That looks awesome already over there. Um I'm gonna go around town, see if anyone has anything for sale. Or I'm just gonna have to go and search for some slimes. 
but I'll be back with you guys here once I do find some. We'll be back down there working on that. Okay guys, and we're back. Uh, so we did find some slime balls, and we got the stuff that we need to use to build the slime light. Right? Uh, so what we have to do here is, yeah, right here, fill this in here. I did make it a little bit bigger uh, while off camera, just to allow for more room to work here. Um, this up. I also put the ladder from the back there so we can so I can get up there and not have to do that on camera. Do this. Eh, looks like a good color. Eh, I'm a huge fan of patterns, but it works for what it needs to do. Okay. To do this here. What we're gonna do is put water in. Um, once we're done, you'll see what it, how it all makes sense and how it all works together. That should be pretty neat. Should probably be putting the water in last, but... Um, I like to do everything the hard way. Put that there for now. I'm gonna do this all source blocks. Um, here. Need one more down here. That should be good. And filled. Great. Okay. Now what we need to do is cover the edge ones here. You can kind of see how all coming together now. And there. Uh, so what happens is these fishings get pushed up randomly, uh, each one of them, it, and you have to fall from the very top there and land in the water without dying. These change pretty quickly. Um, the water along the sides keeps it so uh, it always turns back into source so you don't, like, you fall in the center, it's not empty. Um, but now we have to go down and do some of the red stuff here. Oh, that was a little close. Here we go. Clear a lot of stuff. We need a lot of room. around already have some slimes around mm. I'm just doing this to get some randomization out of it you don't have to be on a certain tick or anything I just want them all to be moving at different times and do that should save one or extending oh. let's do that we'll 
see how well it goes from there. So, take some more out here. It's actually really simple to make. And here we go. As many of you know, this is my favorite redstone contraption to go with. This hopper timer thing that everyone has. I just find it the easiest thing to make and versatile more than anything. And use some of these building blocks, no one really cares. Got enough of them. All I need now is a comparator. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need another comparator. So what I'm gonna have to do is I don't have any um, what you call it um, quartz left in my base. I'm gonna have to ask Cal, which I believe he is on, if he has any. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get that from him. He probably has one laying around. I'll put that in here. And I'm gonna get the red soon and I'll work out here and I'll come back and explain to you guys how we have it done. Okay, welcome back guys. And we have finished the redstone here. I got the comparator off of Cal there. Uh, this is just a little um, redstone to stop it from going. Uh, so this is what we did. We inverted some, um, but kept the other ones. So if you went down inside there to get to the center, which is inverted. Uh, this one's also inverted. So we have some that are inverted. Some are on a little bit longer of a delay. What we'll do is we'll go outside here and we will check out. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me get out of here. This is what happens here. I just have a switch over here for now. You turn it on. And when you fall, you're falling straight down and you're shifting. Um, I'm kind of be changed. I might make it a little bit quicker. But kind of like this. As you can see, it fills up pretty quickly. Um, but this is how it goes. You have to fall in one of these waters and if you survive, um, you win. You win, really. It's really hard. I've only done it like once. I can see a lot of lag from it. Stop that. Okay, so there we go. We have that done at least. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little wall around here. I just want to have one. Two, yeah. I have one so people can just jump out this side here. I want them to go the certain way. Here, green, blue, yellow, green. Once we do get this whole carnival done, we'll get everyone, not everyone, but the people that record base mostly, and maybe a few other guys uh, together, and we will just kind of go around, around the carnival showing everything, everyone like how it works and all that. Um, this is the way to get out. We need some fences. Let's make this. Nope, doesn't get down. Okay, good. Um, blue here. And then yellow. Good. Oh, right, here. Oh, this has to be soul plan. Oops, let's go back out. Um, the reason why it needs to be soul sand so you can't walk back in, because soul sand makes you go down one pixel. I'll show you guys in a second here. So this goes here. Like that. Mm, what color should it be? I'll go with yellow. So you see you can walk out. Oh wait, I did that wrong. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's supposed to be there. Sorry, guys. Let's do it again here. There we go. And full sand. See, you can't go out, but if you're coming from the inside, you can go out, it's fine. But you can't go back in. Unless you do like that, which is going to be like a little exit like this. You gotta dig some of this stuff here. You guys are going to share a little bit more. 
right. Um, well, this is basically what this design is here. It's, like, it's really that simple. Uh, but it makes a really cool little mini game. Uh, let's just put these around here so we can finish it off. So what I was looking for, slime balls, and I had to steal some from my elevator. As soon as I came out there and came down here, it was night, and all there was was slimes everywhere, which I have enough to replace it. Um, but it was just frustrating that I was looking for them, and then I came out, and there was a whole bunch there. Um, now let's do this here. So it's just gonna be like a little like this. We're gonna do a little bit more, kind of, when I do the entrances for each one, so I'm gonna kind of like weave around here, go over here, so the entrance is here, and so you can go in, kind of like a waiting line in there. What I might do is throw all my stuff in a chest, and we'll try this out. Um, I just want to move it here. I'll drop my stuff off in a chest, and I'll meet you guys up there. Be right back. And we're back guys, and look at this, we at the very top here, all the way up this ladder. This isn't crazy high, but I can't even hear the sound that's down there from below. So what we're going to do is we're going to time it right, and we're going to... Oh, I not? Oh, I have feather falling on. That's kind of weird, but you have feather falling on for that. So you guys can see there. Here, let's go back. Kind of does like you out there because there's only pistol going off at one time. Uh, well, that's fine. So once you get up here, there's not much like at all. And I live right by the road there, so that was a big more so that was going by. I'm gonna try this again. Time it right. I think you have to time it when it's open. Now. Oh. Again. That's cow. He doesn't know what I'm actually doing right now, so it's kind of like I'm just dying out of nowhere doing this. This is actually really hard to do unless someone. I've done dropper maps and stuff like that, but this trying to land in a one block hole, it's so hard. Let's try it again. Um, oh. I had lagging over there. Try, try, try. So you guys can see here what's going on with this. So simple. But so fun. When we do get each game done, we're going to do all the entrances and everything, get it all straightened out. But let's get over here before all these mobs get us. <laughs> Back to the other one. Um, but we did finish that off, so this will probably be it for today. Uh, we still haven't moved the animals into here. Unfortunately, I just haven't gotten to it there. Um, but a little talk to you guys here. I haven't talked to you guys last time. Uh, but let's do another one here. So, I have all that for the infrequency of the video showing up. I would like to be able to get one up at least once. One a day or one every two days or so um, but currently I've been really busy with some stuff that's going on um, so the turtle craft stuff will get posted on more infrequently so it's gonna be on whenever I get time to put it on but it should be fine we should be fine with that um, but we'll definitely try to get if I do post them we're gonna try to get them to be more relevant to the carnival here because uh, the carnival seems like one of the big projects that I got going here but I have a lot of stuff here for the carnival ideas, like this game, that one, that one, that one actually would be pretty fun with multiple people at the same time. Um, I have like food truck ideas, um, a snow idea, which is actually pretty cool. I have snowman up there, so I had to AF, like just get as much snow as I can from him. Um, the entrances, I have those all built in in my tester for how they're gonna look, which are gonna be pretty awesome. Um, but this should come along. It's actually looking really nice now. I like the bright colors, and with us having a, a mesa, oh, the hiring play is so easy. It's my favorite block to build with. Um, but again, with that, 
basically done. Just need to do the entrance and the exit a little bit more. Uh, make the control panel look a little bit better. Might have the control panel up to um, somewhere else in like the control room for all of them. Which I think would be pretty cool. Um, but that would be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And remember to like and share the video. Bye. See you guys next time.